Hi everyone, yes, I am back with yet another pickups video in the same t-shirt because I'm recording these back to back. <laughs> um, this one is going to be Nintendo, mostly handheld portable stuff for Nintendo. Um, and I'll probably leave the, the big Nintendo cardboard one for the, the last video that I record today. So, let's get into it. I'm going to start with a book that I've missed. Um, so my mum found this in a charity shop for 20p. And it's the ultimate guide to gaming, next level game review, 23. Uh, and as you might have guessed from the title... It's just talking about different games from different generations and current gen and what they think of the games. Um, it's the sort of stuff that you would normally buy your games master, your computer and video game magazines for, um, so that you didn't buy NAF games. Um, but mum found this in a charity shop, so I was trying to form my thoughts and it was just like, there's nothing there. It's like, does not compute. So let's look at the portable stuff. So I've got, I'm going to show the consoles first and then we'll get through the games. So first up, I've got a Nintendo DS. Uh, this came from a charity shop and was £5 with a pile of games. Uh, so it's a DS White. It came in a little foam baggie, has the pen, which just never happens, but doesn't have a charger. Even has the cartridge protector for the bottom in there um, unfortunately I do not have a charger um, I'll remove those stickers before I trade it in although I think I'm getting discounted because there's bits of food underneath the, the case where you just can't get to it um, real shame because it's probably in good working condition he says there's no battery on this so I have no idea it's probably in good working condition but like I say unfortunately I have no way to charge it no way to test it because I don't have a DS charger. Um, so at some point I will um, trade this in and get 30-ish quid credit for it um, and use that to get something that I actually want. It did come with the paperwork. I'm going to keep the paperwork because I'm a moron. Um, but the idea for me keeping this paperwork is that at some point I will um, pick up a DS in its box. And when I do so, two of these in it but it's got two of those uh, and the instructions for the console uh, when i do pick up a ds console um that is boxed if i do not have the um the paperwork for it at least i've got a baggie full of paperwork uh, at the moment ds is actually one of the few systems that i don't have boxed um so that will come in handy Next, now you've probably seen these boxes a while ago on my video, so I had a bit of good fortune in CEX. Went into CEX and the first one was in Blackburn and spotted the box for this console and just said, can I have a look at the console that goes with that box? Because um, I see it, seen it was marked as discounted and I am a sucker, um, as the next video after this one will show, for whenever I see the word discounted or unboxed, when it comes with a box they couldn't find the console and they said we've sold it and um, so that's just going to go in the bin and i asked if i could save it from the bin and they gave it to me um, and i finally found a console to go in it and it is a pink game boy color uh, box now there is a tear on the lid here and unfortunately cex blackburn i think it was blackburn um had stuck on the front of the box a raffle ticket and hadn't been very gentle when they removed it and they took away some of the pink paper and the paper here so you can see there's some white on here that is where i have painstakingly repositioned that piece of tape so that it lines up with where it should go um but i do now have to go in this box a game on color pink i think it's called atomic pink or I think there is a, a, a word that goes with the pink. I just can't remember what it is. Um, but very pleased with that. Um, I wasn't ever planning to go for a full set of consoles, but now I might because I've got three of them. Um, which you might guess. So the next one, this one came from CX uh, Local to me. Um, exactly the same crack. I saw it said discounted on it. 
I asked to have a look at the system. They'd sold the system, but not sold the box. Um, so I asked, can I buy the box or can I have the box? And she said, yes, you can have the box. And so that was a Game Boy Color grape. I think it's called this one. Um, and it's in really nice shape. There's a bit of damaging down here. And that's it. Um, but this one um, is also in there now. It says, if I can grab a hold of it. Game Boy Color grape. Um, now, the interesting thing, or the funny thing for me, is that both of these Game Boys came from the same person who had listed them local to me for £60, or £30 a Game Boy, um, and this was the only two Game Boys he had. Um, so I had two boxes that matched the two Game Boys that he had, and um, so I had to buy them. Um, and So now I've got an Atomic Purple, a Grape, and a neon pink or whatever it's called pink uh one so i may go for the lime green the yellow and there's another one isn't there lime green yellow there's no picture on the box to help me um answers in the comments i cannot remember the name of the last color um oh there's a pokemon one i can't think of the last color though there is another color there's the yellow lime green purple pink Teal. Teal is the other colour. Teal and the Pokemon one. Uh, now, as I alluded to there, I am a sucker for when I see the word unboxed or discounted. This is case in point. This was marked as discounted in uh, a CEX that I went to yesterday. And I just, it was a shut up and take my money moment. Um, so it is a Game Boy Advance Indigo. Uh, the box is really quite nice. There's a bit of dirt on the front, which looks like it's from an old sticker, which I'll clean off later. Um, but really nice shape. Um, the paperwork is all in there. The reason that it was marked as discounted is the screen has some marks on it. Um, I am probably going to just remove the screen and put a um, thingy one on it, a aftermarket one on it. Um, but you can see here, he says, oh, no, you can't see, Indigo discounted. So, yeah, absolutely couldn't leave that. Um, the, the sticker is still on there. Let's see, serial number sticker, as uh, the battery compartment is right, and there is no rust in there. He says, no, oh, it's a sponge, isn't it? Yeah, no rust. I think it's a sponge. I'll have a proper look at that later. If that's rust, that might have to go back. But yeah, either way, I now have two of these. So I've got a white one and an indigo one. Um, so I may end up collecting these as well. I don't know what's going on. If I see them boxed and they're, they're classed as unboxed, I'm going to buy them because I'm a moron. Um, but I do love these systems. Okay, right. Sticker, gone. Right, games. Um, with the two Game Boy Colours, he says, having just said games, came a magnifying glass. Um, and so it works. It had batteries. There's no rust. I'm probably never going to use it, but it's there. Um, it was included. And there were a few games included too, which are in this pile here. And um, so there was Tiger Woods... PGA Tour 2000, Toy Story 2, uh, the American edition, and Barbie Ocean Discovery. Um, yeah, nothing amazing. I'm going to be honest. Uh, they they were just included with the the systems. They'll go in the box with my games. I don't think I've got any of those. So wonderful. Um. With the DS, I forgot to mention, there was a big rook of games. Um, in amongst the loose games, I'll get to the box games in a moment, um, was 42 games, um, all-time classics. It's dominoes, it's pool, it's rubbish. Uh, and classic word games, which is uh, your word searches and that sort of thing. Um, I did do a video um, before all of this happened, and in there I did a... 
mystery box that I bought on eBay of video games. Uh, it was 15 game. Uh, I think it was 15 games for £15. So I wasn't hopeful. But having had all that success way back when with the Etsy mystery box, which actually had some really good games for the value, um, I thought I'd try it out and see if it was actually worth buying. Because if it was, I'd probably buy one a month and just you know make it a, a thing where I open it and show you what I got. Um, unfortunately, five of the games were PC games, three of them were uh, sports games, a few of them were unboxed, those that were boxed were scratched to shit, um, and so the only thing I actually ended up keeping out of it was Chicken Little for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, other than that, everything else went in the um, bin or to the car boot bag. Um, just nothing worth having in there, unfortunately. Right, let's do some... Nintendo cardboard boxed stuff. So we'll talk about these. I think I've shown two of them in a short. If you watched the short, you can skip over, I guess. Um, but I've got four boxed Nintendo cardboard games. Um, really annoyed about one of them, um, but I left it too long to return, unfortunately. Um, but I've got Monsters Inc., um, which is on the Game Boy Advance, and our Game Boy Color. Sorry, I know it's on the Advance as well. I'm sure it is. It's in the double pack. Um, but yeah, Monsters Inc. Just a, a cheap game box. I haven't got any box protectors, which reminds me, I've ordered trays. I need to order some box protectors now. Um, the one that I'm annoyed about is Rugrats in Paris. Looks absolutely beautiful, right? And I think it was only about eight quid. Unfortunately, the back of the box had a big fucking tear on it, which the person in CEX didn't show me. Um, they just said, Are "You happy with that?" And I said, "Yeah, that looks great." And they threw it in the bag. Um, it is complete with the manual, um, the cart's in there, but the back's ripped, and that really, really annoys me. Um, and then had an absolute win. Um, I'm, I'm almost tempted to crown myself king of the unboxed um, here, because I got two absolute corkers of a deal in my CEX. These were both clusters unboxed. Uh, this isn't actually the one that I got. This is one that's going to end up on eBay, I think, or on Swap Shop. Um, but Legend of Zelda Oracle of the Ages. Um, this was uh, So they had a copy of this with a much nicer box that was classed as unboxed. This was my copy, which is sun faded and is a bit battered. Um, this was the uh, one that we actually had from new as kids. Um, you can see on the top even there where people have been going into it, where the papers just started to rip. Uh, got the manual, um, and the one that I bought had the manual. It had the paperwork, all the stuff that you would want. Um, so I traded mine up to the nicer copy, and this one is going to go, as I say, and hopefully recoup some of that cost, because they weren't cheap games that I bought, um, but I'm hoping that I can at least get some of my money back. The next one um, is one that I had as unboxed, and they had it in the shelf as unboxed, and it was like, yeah, just take my money. Just uh, look, here, take it. Uh, and it's Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. Um Again, quite nice shape. Um, the only issues with this is one of the sides here has a fold down it where it's bold at some point. Uh, and then there are three, four little marks. So there's one here, one here, and oh, one there. So there's tiny little marks on the box. Um, but given how much this game is boxed versus unboxed, I had to buy it. I, I just could not leave it when it was marked up as an unboxed price. Um, and this is my problem at the moment. This is how I've ended up with such a massive boxed collection for things like the SNES and the 64. Is um, I've went in and they were classed as unboxed. Um, hell, the Pokemon there. Come on there. Um, I got in CX last week. Unboxed without transfer pack for fifteen pounds. You can clearly see it's got its box. It also has its transfer pack, and it has its instructions. Yes, the instructions are a bit battered. The box is a bit sun faded, but it's complete. It even has the inner tray. So I have no idea why that was classed as unboxed without transfer pack. Somebody just dropped the ball. Um, so I grabbed a hold of it, and I'm gonna probably move that one on. Use it to raise some funds for all the other crazy stuff that I've been buying. 
Anyway, right, DS next. I've got some DS to show, and then we'll finish with the 3DS stuff. Um, so for the DS, these came with the white DS that I bought for a fiver. Uh, so I've got Mindstorm, Train Your Brain, which is a... Is this the 505? Yeah, it's the 505 Brain Training. Art Academy. Learn to draw like a boss. Um, looking at the bottom, there's some really detailed like pencil drawings of Yoshi and a cat and oil painting looking things. There ain't no way you're going to learn to draw like that on a DS screen. Um, I'm a terrible artist. I can't draw worth a damn. But I know for a fact that I am, if I play this game, I am never going to be able to draw like that. Uh, Puzzle World, um, as you might guess with the other uh, puzzle game or word game, um, this one is Word Searches, it's Sudoku's, um, it's all that sort of thing. Um, Scrabble, the 2007 uh, edition. Uh, this is just Scrabble for the DS. Um, and then next one came from a charity shop. I bought this just so I could take a couple of games out of the collection and replace them with one game. Um, the Quest Trio, um, it's the free quest game, so Solitaire, uh, I forget what the middle one's called, Expeditions and uh, Mahjong Quest. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got all three of those, so I'll probably just swap the three boxes out for the one box um, so that I can make a bit of room in the collection. Uh, also from the toy guy who I got the Donkey Kong figure from and Crash of the Titans and other videos... Um, I got Transformers, War for Cybertron, Autobots. I've had Decepticons for ages, but was missing Autobots. Um, I just realised this is missing a health and safety booklet. Um, I'll fix that later, because um, it's a bit light and manuals rocking about in it. Uh, oh, this came with the DS as well. Um, more brain training. I'm not going to labour on that. Everyone knows what brain training is. And my mum found this in a charity shop, Mystery Case Files Millionaire. And then finally for the DS, um, this one was a CEX purchase. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Dragon Sword. Um, it was a fiver. I've never seen this one before, and it looks like it could be quite good. Um, I mean, it might be terrible. It may also be pronounced Ninja Gaiden uh, rather than Gaiden. Uh, the guy in the shop, me, uh, uh, me and the guy in the shop were dispute, disputing this, whether it's Gaiden or Gaiden. Um, but cousin handed it to me. I'd never seen it before. Grabbed it for a fiver. And then finally, to wrap things up, we've got some 3DS stuff. Um, so, uh, first one is a car boot find, and that is 50 classic games. Um, it was a pound, and a 3DS game for a pound. I'm going to buy... The woman I bought it from said, oh, I had a load of those 3DS games this morning for a pound each, and they all sold. Um, it's always sickening when you hear that at a car boot, because you know that somebody's just walked away with some absolute bargains. Um, but this one, it's got Solitaire, it's got car games on there, it's got thousands of levels of never-ending fun. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, one that I bought from the NIS store. Um, I, I just whenever I place an order on NIS, I look at what's cheap, and if there's anything that I haven't got, I end up buying it. Um, and I know I've got this on the Wii U, but Rodea, the Sky Soldier, um, still sealed um, because it's come directly from the distributor. Um, but yes, just a new game for the collection. And then finally, to finish off, um, got this in CEX. It was just a standard price of Pokemon Moon, but it is the fan edition. Um, it did not have the regular case for Pokemon Moon in there. It only had the Steelbook. Um, part of me thinks that they, they they took the normal case out so that if they ever get a case stolen, they've got one that they don't need to reprint. And I, I'll never prove it, but hey ho. Um, but I actually had a spare case for Pokemon Moon, and I had the actual game itself, which is why there's a a gap on the Pokemon shelf because I put my game in there. Took the game that they put in the steelbook out and put it in the spare case that I had for Pokemon Moon and traded in my uh, old copy, I guess, and kept this one. So I've now got the fan edition of Pokemon Moon, which means I've only got one fan edition left to find for the 3DS, which is Ultra Sun. Um, and then I've got them all. I do also need the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire 
fan editions, but hopefully as time goes on, I'll walk into a CEX and see them. Um, right, that's all of the handheld stuff, but I'm going to show two kind of handheld games, um, and then we're done. Um, so for the Switch, which is a kind of handheld system, I played mine mostly handheld. Uh, I've got Hentai vs Evil, which was supposed to be the last of these fun box, slightly pervy games. Um, but there is now a two or three uh, games, uh, something like The Good Girls or The Naughty Girls or something like that, um, which looks like it's a collection of Mahjong type games. that I'm going to have to buy as well if I want to keep this subset going. Um, so I did though get my Hentai vs Evil, which is great. And then I bought this on the Japanese copy, so I'm probably going to be selling that Japanese copy at some point. Um, but Nintendo restocked um, this and I had to buy it as soon as it came up on a restock. Uh, and it's Bayonetta, um, the first Bayonetta game in a PAL physical edition. Uh, I am a real sucker for wanting the physical games and I, I've got Bayonetta 2 on the Switch in the special edition with the code still sealed, not scratched. Um, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it, which is why I wanted a physical. And now I finally have one. Okay, right. That's everything for this video. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it, uh, seeing the consoles and the games that I picked up. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to finish with the Nintendo cardboard stuff. Um, so I have NES, well, one NES game, some SNES, two of those, and some 64, about 30 of those. Um, and yeah, I will hopefully earn my crown as king of the unbox because oh my god anyway that's it for this one thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one